what's up everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video now if this is your first time here then welcome my name is Vilma today I'm bringing you a Uniqlo haul I haven't done one in over a year and it's very surprisingly because I shop at Uniqlo a lot especially for my daughter I tend to buy all of her wardrobe every single year from Uniqlo because I love their basics they have great staples and the quality for the price that you pay is definitely on point I have been raving about their t-shirts for over two years and I'm actually surprised I've not done more videos but here we are today I have a little bit of knitwear well I have a lot of knitwear I have two outerwear pieces and a pair of trousers I do hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get started London we are currently approaching the colder months and at the moment it's less than 10 degrees however I don't feel like that type of temperature warrants a heavy chunky knit because you can wear like a cashmere sweater and a nice wool coat and you'll feel warm so some of the knits that I have here are a little bit lighter in fabric so you can layer them but I also have a few that are a little bit thicker but not chunkier knit so that is not what I'm going to be showing in this video today also when it comes to the tops everything that was ordered is in size medium I also have a few blazers well a couple of blazers those are in size large so just keep those size in mind whilst you're watching this video so the first top that I want to show you is this 100% wool sweater and it's made of a knit material now this retails full price for $29.90 but when I bought it which was before Black Friday it was half price already at that time so hopefully they still have it at that current price so I really really love this shade it's like a a mauve shade and I feel like it's a very flattering shade for many many skin tones and I also like the fit the fit is snug but not too tight like it's not super figure hugging and as I mentioned I got this in size medium when it comes to the neck area it's a crew neck which I find very flattering I feel like you can layer some pieces here like some gold jewelry and you can also wear one of their heat tech roller necks underneath although this is not very thick you can still layer on top of something else so i do really really like this one i also ordered it in another shade so this is more of a creamy shade again size medium same price more than likely it was also 14 pounds 99 as i mentioned i bought it before black friday and they already had sales going on i also really love this one i mean when it comes to the fabric it's very soft it doesn't itch although it's made of 100% wool the only issue that I have with this particular one it is a little bit see-through which means you need to be very careful with what type of bra you wear um, for example when I was trying the one before this one I only had a bralette but I couldn't wear a bralette with this one because you could see my nipples so it is a little bit disappointing I don't like tops that are too thin that become see-through but if you can pass that again if you wear something that is more skin toned or you layer it on top of another top like a heat tech top it's not going to show anything it fits exactly the same super soft and it's a versatile piece again because it's a creamy shade which is very very neutral okay so the next two tops are going to be roller necks and I'm going to start with the lighter shade which is this one right here this is also made of hundred percent wool and the shade is actually called natural and not cream I really like it it feels exactly the same as the previous two super comfortable not itchy very very soft and i really really love this one now when it comes to the sleeves it does have a ribbed detail and it also has the same rib detail at the bottom i like the fact that these tops are not short they actually have a really really nice length so you can tuck them in and the benefit of having something a little bit thinner is that it's not going to show through when you tuck it in into trousers like for example the ones that i'm wearing it's really not going to show through all that much and when it comes to 
the thickness it's exactly the same as the previous two so it does show a little bit so you need to be very careful with what bra you wear underneath but overall i do really like it i feel like the fit is really nice and you can wear this on top of another top or use this as the bottom layer and then a chunkier knit or a cardigan on top and when it comes to the price it was also full price 29 pounds 99 the next roller neck is made of extra merino wool and it comes in this gorgeous beige shade I'm pretty sure this has a different name for this beige but I'm just gonna call it beige for now so this retails for 24 pounds 90 I can't fully remember if I paid full price or not for this but usually these ones don't really go all that often on promotion it's not the first time that I tried this one. I feel like I tried it on my previous haul that I'll link up here if you guys are interested. Of course, some of the pieces there are no longer going to be available, but this one was also featured in that particular haul. I really love the shade super neutral you guys know how much i love neutrals the fit is fantastic i actually prefer the fit of this to this one right here i just feel like underneath the arms there's not a lot of fabric it just fits snug in the right places without being too close to your armpits for example so this particular top just fits really really well now again i got it in size medium as I mentioned, the shade's gonna go with everything and it comes in an array of shades. Like I think they have about eight to 10 shades for this particular line. Super soft. I heard that it doesn't stretch. It washes really well. And yeah, I really like this one. So before we get into the heavier knits, I wanna talk about the top that I'm actually wearing right now. So this one is called the long sleeve t-shirt. It comes in about four shades. And the shade that I have, I'm going to put the name right here on the screen because I can't fully remember. I love the shade. It's kind of like a dusty, mauve shade almost beigey but it does have a pink undertone in it and i find that this particular shade when it comes to clothes blushes lipsticks eyeshadows i find it very very flattering on my skin tone now the fit of this is oversized so i got it in size medium and it's quite long although it looks like i've tucked it in into my top or into my trousers better saying i can't speak i actually tucked it in into my bra because it's quite long so it just stays there but it doesn't create a lot of fabric being tucked in into my trousers so this one is definitely a keeper i really love how it looks i can style this with denim with the trousers that i have with shorts with leggings and just go for more of a casual look with trainers so this is definitely something that I would love, love, love to add in more shades, possibly a black shade, even a pink shade if they had. I'm not entirely sure if they had it on their website, but I do really like it and I think it's something that I will wear a ton. Okay, now moving along to knits that I feel will definitely keep you warm at this time of year. And this wouldn't be a video of mine if I didn't feature cashmere. The first one that I want to show you guys is this crew neck sweater which is made of 100% cashmere. Full price, it retails for £79.90, but at the moment, or at least when I bought it, it was only £49.90, which I think it's a bargain for 100% cashmere. So I love the shade. I don't have anything in my wardrobe in this particular shade when it comes to sweaters. So it's something that I was definitely looking for. I love the fit. It's a little bit more relaxed. And if you like a little bit more of a baggier size, I would definitely say size up to a size large. If you like it a little bit more fitted, then possibly go down to a size small. I like a more regular fit, so I went for the size medium, which is my actual size, and I really, really love the fit. It's relaxed. I could wear this in so many different ways, even with a pair of tracksuit bottoms. I think it would look really nice, and a nice pair of trainers, a coat, and I'm ready to go. So you can use this as loungewear, of course, I know that cashmere is quite expensive, so some of you may say I would never wear that as loungewear, but we all have different budgets and different lifestyles. So if you would like to wear this as loungewear, you could definitely do that. It is a luxurious material, so I would possibly wear it more if I'm going out or to go to work. So really love it, love the fit, and I liked it so much 
the style that I ordered it in another shade, dark navy. Now this one, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to keep it, but it does feel exactly the same as the previous one. Super soft, it's not itchy. I love the fact that the crew neck is actually quite snug, like this sweater. They do the crew necks so well at Uniqlo. I find it flattering for anyone. And again, when it comes to cashmere, you can use this on top of something else or on its own. If you find it a little bit too itchy, my recommendation would be wear a thin cami underneath to stop the itchiness or a long sleeve t-shirt. Not something that is very thick, so you're gonna feel warm because these definitely keep you warm. I've worn cashmere almost every day to work since I've come back to work and sometimes I'm in there and I'm sweating. So if it does itch, just wear a thin layer underneath and that will stop it and you will see the difference. But yeah, really love it. Not entirely sure if the navy shade is something that I want to keep, but if you guys are looking for something along these lines, then for the price, this is definitely something to buy. So the next piece is a knitted dress. This is from their 3D Knit collection, which comes in about four shades, a brown, a natural, and a black and this one right here. It retails for £34.90 and it's made of this 3D knit. I think there's wool and other fabrics in there. Now, when it comes to the texture of it, it's very soft and it definitely feels like it's something that would keep you warm. Of course, because it does have a crew neck, if you feel cold, you would definitely need to wear it with another layer. But I feel like for this time of year, the fabric content and how it feels it feels like it's something that would definitely keep me warm. Now this dress is not very long, but I am a five foot seven. So if you are below, it will probably fit you completely different. And if you are a lot taller than me, it will be shorter on you, obviously. I wish that the dress was a little bit longer. I prefer dresses like this to be just a little bit. It kind of like falls right below my knee, which it's not an unflattering length, but I just feel like the dress itself, the cut is not very flattering on me personally. But I do like the fabric and I like the shade. Maybe if it did have a higher neck, I would have a different opinion of the dress. It could be this part and then, I'm not entirely sure. There's something about the dress that doesn't really suit me all that much. I do like the sleeves. They are a little bit balloony, but not too much. Overall, I think it's a nice basic dress, but there's not really much to it. So one of the things that I really wanted to try from Uniqlo is their Heat Tech tops. So I decided to order one and I ordered it in black. Now this particular one is the most affordable version because they have one that costs around 20 pounds. This one retails for 12 pounds 90. It comes in a few shades, black, white, and possibly pink and gray. I think it does come in a few shades. I love the scoop neck over here. It's not too close to the neck. It actually is very, very flattering because it's a very figure hugging. It comes in long sleeves, but you can get them in different styles on their website. Now, this one was not on promotion when I bought it, but I don't think something of this particular style or what it is intended for, that it was expensive. Now, this is made of polyester, acrylic, and viscose. There is kind of like different fabrics in there that I wasn't expecting to be. I thought maybe cotton would be the highest content in there. I don't even think there is cotton. I could be wrong, I'll put it here on the screen. But from the tag, I don't think there was cotton in there. But it does feel very soft and it's one of their best sellers. So I am keeping this one because I want to wear something underneath my cashmere sweaters, not because they're itchy, just to have a layer of warmth. I don't like chunky knits all that much. So I wanted to give this a try and see if it definitely keeps me warm. I'll be updating the comment section below or maybe just a description box um, it, within the next few weeks and I'll let you know if this definitely keeps me warm. But so far I love the style because it's very simple and it's very figure hugging but in a very nice flattering way okay so the next piece that I'm going to show you guys is going to be my ever ever first 
pair of trousers that I've tried from Uniqlo but when I saw it on the model on the website I was like I need to try them because I really really like the look so the trousers are these dark chocolate ones I'm really sorry if on the camera it looks very very dark but these are a brown chocolate shade they retail for $49.90 but when I bought them I think they were below 20 pounds I think I'm not entirely sure so the size that I got for these ones is a size of 38 waist which I believe it's a 28 inch waist and for the leg I got it in length 29 inches so they are wide and high waisted but they're a little bit big for me now i'm not going to take any points out of the trousers because i actually really like the look and the fabric it does feel like it's made of wool but i'm not sure because i can't find a tag so i'll put some information here on the screen whether it's made of wool or not or i'll put it below in the description box i really like the style and when i saw it on the model it looked a little bit different so on me it is going to look different as well but i decided to style it with a belt and with the belt it gave me a completely different look it's very parisian i always say that adding a belt to an outfit can definitely elevate it and that's exactly what happened i was feeling a little bit blah about the trousers also because they're a little bit too big but when i added the belt i just cinched it in at the waist and they looked completely different in my opinion so i do really like them not going to keep them because they are as I said, a little bit too big and I don't want to get them tailored. Um, I wish that they had a size uh, 27 so I could try them. But I do really like the look. They are very Parisian, as I said. They have that chic vibe. If I would style this with a stripey um, top, like a blue striped top, I think it would look so, so nice in a pair of white trainers or creamy shoes I think it would be such a nice look so not going to keep them but I do really like them so the last two pieces in this video are going to be two blazers I believe they're the same style the same cut just different shades uh, but they're both made of wool so the first one is this one right here and I wanted to try one of their blazers because a lot of people do rave about them. This one is from the same line as the trousers. So it's possibly kind of like that Parisian look. It has two buttons on the sleeves. I got it in size large and this one retails for $89.90. But at the moment or when I bought it, it was half price now if i tell you that i'm a little bit disappointed with this blazer i'm not even lying and i'm going to tell you the first reason why i'm disappointed was the way that it was delivered to me it was rolled up in a plastic bag why would you roll a blazer in a plastic bag uniqlo i have no idea i didn't even steam it i just styled it and showed you guys how it looked that's how it looked when i took it out of the bag so it's all wrinkled everywhere i said to myself i'm not going to steam this i'm just going to style it and then tell you guys why it's wrinkled um, I also don't like the fit. That's not a disappointment. It just doesn't suit me. I like my blazers to be a straight cut and these ones are a little bit, this one is a tailored, but the sleeves are a little bit too big. So maybe the size medium would have fitted me a little bit better because it is supposed to be tailored. So I'm not really happy about this one. I like the shade. I think it's really nice but it's definitely not a keeper. And the last blazer, again, it's the same style as the other one. It's from the same collection. Comes in this a gorgeous navy blue shade. Something that I actually want to add to my wardrobe is a navy um, blazer. I think it's very classic, very timeless, especially if you find the right cut and style for you. But again, because it is tailored, it's not really my style. I feel like the medium again would have fitted me a lot better. Now this one is not wrinkled anywhere. It came very well presented i took it out of the bag and i was able to wear it straight away if you're looking for something along these lines then maybe for the price point 
because this one is also $89.90 full price, but I bought it at um, half price when I ordered it. I think it would be a nice piece that you could wear for the office, but for me, it really doesn't fit my lifestyle at all. I don't like the cut. It makes me look a little bit old fashioned and I really like oversized boxy fit type of blazers. I don't mind them being tailored, but they have to be longer than this one. I just find that it's a little bit, I don't know, too relaxed for my liking. That could be possibly down to the size that I ordered. So we've reached the end of this Uniqlo try on haul. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give this video a good thumbs up. If you're new here, I would absolutely love for you to come back and join the family. So make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future uploads. Also follow me here on Instagram. I post every single day outfit inspirations and I would absolutely love for you to join me on there. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on my next one.